Uh, thanks, Celeste Concordia. Uh, on behalf of the Social Democrats, I'm very happy to pledge our full support for this motion, and we are very pleased to be in a position to sign the motion as well. Um, I think it's a very significant development um, and um, initiative by the Women's Caucus. I think the establishment of the Women's Caucus has been a very positive thing. Uh, and I want to commend Deputy Martin and indeed Deputy um, Corcoran Kennedy, uh, who've led out on, first of all, the establishment of the caucus, but also on this particular initiative, and all credit to them for doing that. Um, I think it's really important because it tackles two issues. It tackles, you know, it addresses the issue of the taboo which periods have become or are currently, and also the issue of poverty. And in relation to poverty, I am sure there are those in government who, uh, and elsewhere who would deny that there is a level of poverty which results in a significant number of Irish girls and women uh, finding it very difficult to afford basic sanitary items that they need uh, and desperately need on a monthly basis for many, many years of their lives. And unfortunately, we are at that point in Irish society where such significant numbers of uh, people are living on the breadline and where very basic items like sanitary uh, products are actually a yeah, struggle for them and they have to make a choice between buying those products and buying other essentials. And that is what we have come to now in relation to quite a significant number of women and families in this country. On the issue of taboo, um, yes, uh, this has been a taboo. It's one of the last few taboo subjects. And I think it's a really healthy sign that we are now uh, having a mature debate in relation to the issue of periods and how uh, they pose challenges for many women in our society, girls and women. And it's very important that we're addressing this issue now. And you know, I know the caucus looked at a number of particular issues that affect girls and women and identified this issue as something that would help to break that taboo, but also which is initiative, an initiative that is very doable. And that's the whole point about it. This isn't something where we're trying to change the world or that's going to cost a fortune. This is recognising a very basic human need that half the population have and uh, addressing that in a very practical way. And um, I would certainly hope that the government support this in a wholehearted manner and provide the necessary funding uh, required for it. On the question of taboo, uh, Deputy Harty spoke about this, and certainly um, those of us have been, who have been around for a while remember that kind of antediluvian uh, attitude and practice that there was, uh, certainly within the Catholic Church, in relation to the churching of women. And that, I suppose, uh, has led over the years to a situation where now, as has been quoted, a very significant number of girls, teenage girls, 60%, uh, still feel that sense of shame and embarrassment about having periods. And, um, you know, that doesn't come out of nowhere. It's, you know, a long cultural impact that results in that. And clearly it's extremely discriminatory um, and uh, derogatory in terms of those attitudes. And they need to be, you know, eliminated. Uh, as a matter of urgency. And the way to do that is through education and through uh, modern um, sexual health, sexual reproduction education uh, courses in schools. And that's what we need. And we don't have that. We need to ensure that our young people, male and female, uh, are taught in an open manner about their reproductive systems, about what it means to have consent or, and to give consent, uh, about what it means to, you know, enjoy sexual pleasure, uh, about uh, the human kind of nature in relation to sexual activity and the reproductive system and not obviously from a purely biological uh, perspective, which is very often the only kind of sex education that people receive in the schools. And, you know, it should be about creating that sense of body positivity for 
young men and young women. And unfortunately, we don't have that. So there's a long way to go. I want to very much commend those involved in, in this initiative. It is essential that we move forward in doing this and make free sanitary, wear, uh, uh, sanitary uh, products available on a much more widespread basis. We should take the lead from Dublin City Council, but so much more needs to be done, especially in our schools and public buildings. And well done to everybody involved in this initiative.